Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is where you are. Welcome to my channel. I am Coach Sherry. I'm in my vehicle. So this is car chat and all that. So I've been thinking here lately about having that strong sense of discernment. And I was just wondering, do you think that women have a stronger sense of discernment than men? Or do you think it's about equal? Now, in my opinion, my point of view is that women have a stronger sense of discernment. And that's when you just have this feeling. Um, I always say it's something that God puts into your spirit, into your soul about a person, place or thing where you're like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna keep my eye on that one or mm, that's just not sitting right. And I remember as a little, as a young girl, I'm not going to say a little girl, but when I was in a, a teenager and when I started having company, you know, keeping company, that's what they used to call courting. <laughs> remember courting. That's when, if you were dating and the person you were dating would come over and you always sit in the front room or sit in the family room and how, you know, you would date, you would look at movies, you know, your mother may fix you some snacks or whatever, and they would stay over for a couple of hours and then they'd go home and that was courting that was keeping company so when I was a teenager and when I was keeping company and it was really the first guy that I had over in that way um, you know he meets your mother and, and father and all that and I remember one day just out of the blue my mother called me into you know the room that she was in and she was just like you know what sit down Sherry I just want to talk to you for a little bit and I was like, yeah, you know, what's going on? And she said, I'm, you know, the young man that you are seeing, I, I, I have a feeling about him. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know much about him and, you know, his background in that way. But there's just something about him that's not sitting right with my spirit. Now, I'm not saying that I don't want you to date him. I don't want you to see him or anything like that because I don't want you to sneak. That's the one thing I don't want you to do is sneak behind our backs. But I just wanted to put that into you, you know, put it in your ear of how I really feel. And so I was like, what? You know, like, mom, what are you talking about? And now by then though, by that age that I was as a teenager, I had come to respect and take heed to the things that my mother would share with me because my mother definitely was you know a person that was very observant and most things that she felt and thought and said were right so you know i definitely did not discount what she had told me but because i was a teenager and you know had that puppy love thing going on i didn't all the way just like say okay mom i hear you i'm gonna break up with him tomorrow no um i still dated him but because she had told me what she felt I started to like pay more attention. I didn't look for things, you know, necessarily, but I just started paying more attention. And lo and behold, I started seeing some of his ways. And, you know, I don't know if they were the ways that my mother was, was also feeling or, or seeing within him, but I definitely saw things about him that was not, you know, pleasing to me. <laughs> that was not, you know, acceptable to how I wanted to be, you know, treated or how I wanted to have a relationship. So ultimately I did break up with him. And, you know, as I've matured, I, I definitely feel that my sense of discernment has really increased. Now I know I asked, did you think if women had a stronger sense of discernment than men? And I must say that my husband and my son both have a strong sense of discernment. You know, they are very cautious and um, particular of who they let into their circle. So in terms of men that I've experienced in that way, um, I do know that men are very capable of having a strong sense of discernment. I just know more women who have that strong sense. So um, speaking from my point of view, I know that I have a very strong sense of discernment and I always have. I've always had to, especially after getting married, you know, being mindful of who's coming into our circle, being mindful of of who is trying to, you know, get close to us for whatever the reason, you know, whatever the, the side angle they're coming at and really warding them off. And warding them off doesn't always mean, you know, being disrespectful, cutting them off at the kneecap or anything, but it's just about seeing who they are, what they are about, and just acting accordingly. You know, maybe not 
fully disclosing certain things or, um, you know, just, oh, okay, I see how you are. And, and you know, um, even some of the ways that they may move, you, you know that they are not genuine. They're not moving with integrity. They're not being authentic. They are, you know, moving in a way that's more sly. That's not the truth. It's not trustworthy. And so, you know, having that sense where other people may not even see it that way, like, what? What are you talking about? But then when it comes to pass and the truth comes out, it's like, wow, you were right all the time. I never saw that coming. So I think a sense of discernment is something that can be developed. It's something that you know, over time it can be developed when you start to understand people's personalities, understanding that not everyone has the same intentions. People have different motives out here. And, you know, you really want to align yourself with people that have the same or similar motives as you. And hopefully those motives are to do the right thing, to be good people, to be trustworthy, to have integrity, to not, you know, be out there lying and, and pretending, you know, that imposter thing, listen, the, the dark, what happens in the dark always, and I promise you, will always come to light. So, you know, it's really about um, doing the right thing. And so if you feel that you have strong discernment, first of all, don't discredit it. Definitely listen to it, reflect on it, understand it see where it's coming from, see what it's pointing you to, and adhere to it. Don't try to fight your discernment. Don't try to say, oh no, that's, that." you know what, I always be tripping off of that. No, there's a reason why you're tripping off of that. And if the same thing keeps happening to you and you're like, why am I always ending up, ending up with this type of person or in this type of place? at that point you have to look at yourself like who are you what's going on what are you really attracting you know and you know you just have to i always say adhere to it listen to it don't try to fight it and just keep going through it and say it'll get better or oh i know it's going to change or anything like that it may it may but then it may not and if it doesn't then what then you're stuck like chuck right then you're like oh shoot you know, this is um, not really what I expected. It's a harder lift. It's a heavier lift. It's not, you know, supporting what I need to do or where I need to be, who I want to be or anything like that. So be mindful. And a lot of people, just like I said, a lot of women have discernment, a great strong sense of discernment. But then too, a lot of women do not listen to their sense of discernment. They are just, like I said, they pass it off and say, I'm, you know, that's not it. We, we, we just got to keep going. But listen, I may not take action <laughs> at first, you know, when, I, when I'm sensing something, but I am definitely very observant and taking notes. And my husband always said, you can publish my notes. I always take notes. Um, again, things that happen in the dark always, always come to light. So, you know, the best thing in life that you can do, the easiest thing in life that you can do is be truth, tr um, trustworthy, be truthful, be, you know, um, have authenticity, have integrity, you know, reach back into your core values and what's important. And listen, oftentimes people that are not doing those things or places that are not doing those things, they would not want that to happen to them. You know, um, it, it's, it's funny how when you put yourself in someone else's shoes, you're like, oh shoot, no, that's not what I want. But, you know, that sense of discernment is real. I, I always believe that's God's voice talking to you. And so you have to listen, be obedient to it, and know that God is putting that sense of discernment in you because he's trying to tell you something. God is trying to tell you something. And when he's talking, listen, listen. Don't, don't try to, you know, smoke it out, tune it out, turn up the volume to something else to try to, you know, quiet it out. No, definitely listen and, and see what it is. Sometimes it's something that you don't want to hear because you want it to be okay. You want it to work out. You want that place to be perfect. You want that relationship to be the best. You want it all, but sometimes it's not and you have to listen. And it's not about staying. Listen, if, if it's not for you, you'll never find joy. You'll never be happy in that situation. We all deserve happiness and joy and peace in our life. We all deserve to 
communicate with each other and know that what we're saying is the truth <laughs> knowing what the other person is saying is the truth you know that i'm looking at you and i'm hearing you and i know that what you're saying is 100 you know and i know that if you're going to recommend that place that is going to be great because you said so you know now the place may change but you know your word your word should be your bond and so again tune into your sense of discernment it's real it's a thing and and I, I I don't I know I've done a video similar to this before but as I was walking to my vehicle because again I'm in my vehicle this is car chat and all that it just came into my spirit and when things like that even if I've said it before comes into my spirit that means I need to say it again and so that's why I'm here to share that with you listen to your 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 soul listen to your your yourself um, your inside, your discernment, um, your gut, you know, listen to it because it's telling you something. Follow that and believe it. And if you can't take action right away, just observe, take your notes, evaluate the situation. And if you have that feeling, don't keep it to yourself. You know, um, so many people keep it to themselves. And then when it comes to fruition and they're like, oh, shoot, I knew that was going to happen people around them are like why didn't you say something we could have you know saved so much time energy money whatever the case may be so if you need to say something say something you know and that's just how it is um but i know that overall you know everyone wants the best they definitely want the best for themselves but wanting the best for yourself doesn't mean that you're going to take away from someone else. And remember I was saying, um, I'm so greasy, it's so hot here, what? Um, but remember I was saying that, you know, when you have that sense of discernment, you are very observant. And I, and I know that for my husband and my son, they are observant on how people show up, how they move, how they, you know, handle themselves in different situations, which is really good. But at the same time, when you are observant, you're not observing to look for the chinks in the armor. Do you know there are people out here that will spend hours, time, days, energy, efforts looking for the chinks in an armor for of a person, looking for the flaws, looking for the things that they can have that gotcha moment for. If you are a getcha gotcha person, you are wasting your time. What? There are so many people out here that are doing that, y'all. What is that about? I have never encountered that until here lately. And I'm just like, yo, that right there is deep. That takes a lot of energy. And you can only wonder, or they should only wonder, why are things not falling into place? It's because you are focused on the wrong things. You should not focus so heavily on someone else just to see especially if it's someone that you can really glean from someone that you can learn from you know don't spend that time trying to figure out what their flaws are or, or when they're going to make a mistake when they're going to trip up oh i see that they didn't do that right or whatever you know don't waste your time doing that waste your time trying to glean some gems from them some nuggets from them so that you can implement them into your own life and not doing it just like them but doing it in your own way listen there's room at the table for everyone there is everyone has their own secret sauce and you know your secret sauce will make whatever you do stand out will make whatever you do your own you know but again i was talking about discernment and i got off on a tangent so i, I apologize for that wow but i hope that you all got a nugget or two from this leave me a message down below and let me know what is well, how do you feel your sense of discernment has served you so far in your life do you feel like your sense of this of discernment is strong or do you feel like it's weak and still developing you know um, because it definitely can develop it can you know you just have to pay attention and and take note of those things that you are seeing the patterns of them because they may show up again and you'll remember and be like oh no i saw this play before you know so um definitely but we all have to have a strong sense of discernment um especially if we're doing the right thing in this world there's so many people that are trying to keep us from doing the right thing trying to derail us from doing the right thing and we just can't allow that mm -mm, not on our watch right 
All right, everyone, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you've been to this channel more than once and you've been on the fence, I would love to have you part of this team. For those of you that have been rocking with me, thank you so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I look forward to seeing you all again. Until we speak again, remember, practice, practice every single day. I promise you, y'all, practice, 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 so that when you get in, you will always play to win. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. All right, everyone. I am Coach Sherry.